Alright, we're back at the very, very, very first lantern. Almost said bonfire again. Maybe I should just start calling on bonfires and just give in. We're going back to the beginning. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic Oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Interesting, I can send people here. As in like here, can I, is, it, is this an alternative to do, to Oed and Chapel? Can I see him at all, her at all back there? Oh, I can kind of, uh, uh, not quite. You can sort of see her face a little bit, at least enough to see that she's human. If you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yusefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. Someone made note that I'd missed something up here. So we're here in one of the opening areas, and here's something I want to point out is there's an interesting thing here where people who are still inside of houses are often burning these outside to ward off the beasts. Lads, you've come up. You'd open a door on a night of hunt. Away with you. Now. But I believe coming from this courtyard into this shortcut over here, I think I missed something right here. There it is, this window. Who are you? I don't know your voice. But I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And where is where you look for my mum? Daddy never came back from the hunt. And she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone. And scared. Really? Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and... And beautiful, you won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. Hello, Mr Hunter. Still can't find my mum. Yes? OK. I can wait. Mum knows I'm really brave, and you're very kind. I won't be afraid. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Hello, Miss. So, apparently this is Gas- uh, li uh, Hunter Gascoigne's son. I mean, t sorry, daughter, uh, the, bo the second boss we fought. And apparently if you use that music box during the boss fight, you can temporarily stun him during the fight, like, three times. And apparently that red jeweled brooch that I found and used was actually the mother's. And so you, you, can, you can continue this little quest here by bringing the red jeweled brooch back here. I, of course, had no idea. Frankly, I had no idea that windows could even be the, one of the things, like, we knocked on doors a few times, so that was established pretty early on. I had no idea that this was, that, like, there's no reason to think this is interactive, unless you happen to walk directly into it and, and trigger the prompt. Anyway, let's go back to exploring. Alright, we're back in the Cathedral Ward, where we met this guy. And where we sent this poor old woman, who, I don't know, maybe she'll be safer, maybe she won't. We have a few different pa- ooh, is that open now? Was this open before? That's an elevator. That's new, right? I'm pretty sure that's new. I could I could have sworn we found this door and it wouldn't open before. I thought maybe. Anyway, we went this way last time and we found these weird grave type dudes. Gonna go murder this guy's face off real quick. Don't mind me. Ow! Ow! Rude! I'm gonna have to take those hit points back real quick. Thank you. Like you're gonna see me. So, when I, when I found here, I went in a very specific path. Oh, wow, they really... They do, not get, they do not get stunned by that attack. I have to be careful about that. So, 
I think I went this... Oop, get out of my way, Kurt. We went down this way, fought that dude, continued forward, and that took me straight down... That that path took me straight to where we ended up fighting... We ended up in your old Yarnum, and we fought the uh, blood-starved beast and stuff like that. But, I didn't explore any other direction around here, as shown by the fact that I just... I saw an item right there already, just in plain sight, because we did... I did so little exploration of the zone because I just went in one direction and just went for it, so... I'm gonna finish exploring. And hope... and it's probably... oh! That's a whole new set. What is that? What the fuck? Is that an enemy spellcaster? What did that? Oh, I don't like that. What is, what is doing that? That's really strange. So we have a staircase going up over here. I kind of want to look at... Oh, can, it, can we get something for hitting this? No? Oh, it's failed. Never mind. I thought maybe if we knocked something in the well, something else would come up, because that's something that happened in Dark Souls 2. This, this looks like a safe corner. I just want—I want to compare these new items real quick. So this top hat is worse in every way except for blunt. A hat worn by hunters who, who admire formality. Some hunters place an emphasis on form, as seen by the use of the threaded cane. For them, formality, beauty, and justice are the very essence of our humanity, and precisely what keeps hunters from being something else. Let's put this set on real quick. Why not? Hunter garb. How do you tell? I guess it's this one probably. The fact that it's all called the same thing is a little confusing. Oh, it's just a normal hunter set. It looks like the rest of the set's actually basically identical. Uh, if not to... Yeah, it's not as good as the Yarnum set, as far as I can tell, but it's, it's, it seems to be identi otherwise identical to the other hunter garb we found. Let's see. One of the standard articles of, of, of hunter attire fashioned at a workshop. This one uh, without the cape that wipes away blood. A fine hunter attire that proves the stable defense to anyone facing Garnum's beastly threat. I'll also put a stock beast on announced by cover of night. Hell yeah! I'm basically dressed up like one of the guys I was just fighting. Ish. So this is a, this is actually a pretty cool appearance for the uh, professional set. Maybe I'll run around looking like this for a little while, just to, just to try it out. Uh, next time we find a boss though, I'll probably switch back to the Yarnum set just because it has some better stats that probably help me out more. So... This is taking me in different directions, don't they? Up there, there's a staircase already that I've never checked out before. And back here, there's that path, and this other path. That I, I guess just takes me to a whole other zone. I'll take a quick glance to see... Is, is this a little self-contained area, or does this go somewhere? Oh yeah, that goes somewhere too. Anyone attacking me? Not yet. Alright, we'll explore this later. I'm gonna continue... I'm gonna commit to the direction I've already uh, done before. And we're gonna check out this new staircase. There's so many paths to check out, you kind of just have to be single-minded about p go checking one out. Sounds. Well, that's a big nasty guy. Also, I realized my headphones were on backwards, because I was looking in the wrong direction for him. That guy... That guy could be a problem. Okay. Hello? Sir? Uh... Are you lost? He's like as big as the statues around here. Oh, he sees me. Well, we're gonna have a good old time now. That didn't work at all. Oh. Did not work one bit. Okay. Try to dodge around him. Ow. Oh, he's susceptible to damage at least. Yeah, he's pretty susceptible to damage. Ow. Was not expecting him to rotate that fast. Was not expecting him to rotate that fast. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Be ready for surprises. Well, taken care of. Quick heal. He was a scary one. Oh, only like 700. He's actually worth less than the werewolves were as far as hit points go. More star more shards. They didn't catch the memo. I don't need shards no more. That last zone completely showered me with them. That's such a beautiful area. Wow. So, two directions again to pick from, up or down. Oh, and there's a switch. What does the switch do? Does it do this this gate? Oh, it does. Does it also open something or just close something? Okay, so it closes this gate. So, maybe I could have I could have locked that guy out. Wait, there's a lever on this side too. I assume this all this one also flips the switch. 
Weird. I assume that there's a reason for me to want to open or close this, this, uh, gate. Like, if I get attacked by someone, maybe I might want to run away? This, this looks like just another normal giant dude, though. Like, the same guys with that just hold a, a brick and try to club me with it? Oh, there's a couple of them. Alright, we have to be careful about getting too much attention here. I'll wait for this guy to walk away, I think, and then try to deal with the other guy. Is he gonna stay there? You gonna go somewhere else, dude? Well, that's not very nice. Alright, so... If I'm lucky, I can get in there for a backstab. Yeetcha! Backstab animation for heavy damage. That guy's dead. Oh! He's trying to club me in the face! He's trying to club me in the face! Very rude, sir. How dare you? Oh, that dog! Why that- what? I, I keep calling them dogs because of the sound they make. Alright, this guy's aggressive. And he's down. Not too bad. A, not too big of a deal. Use the long range chain for the crows because these nasty fuckers can catch you by surprise. They're surprisingly fast once they, get, once they decide to get in the air. Or at least I have troubles avoiding their attacks unless I use the chain. Thankfully, I can do this at any time. Alright, so what do we get as a reward? Blood vials. Gonna go ahead and plop, pop a blood vial since we're maxed out still. Grab this item over. Ooh, I see you. You're not sni- you're not- You're not tricking me. I'm so glad those guys die and hit because fuck those guys. More shards that I don't need. Anything down here? Oh, one of those big guys is down there. Next to some sort of ball. We'll check it out in a moment. Is there something to search? Those are notes on the ground. I want to continue searching this area before we move on, because I think it's a dead end. So we'll check for items. There's one. Exactly what I expected to be. Monocular. That's probably the binocular of this game, as in, like, the item you use to look around. There we go. Alright, yeah, that lets me look further out there. Is there something specific they want me to see? Big cathedral looking building. A nice city skyscape. There's a- oh, there's a bridge going across here. It looks like I can go there. It looks like a, a place I can probably access soon. There's a, a windmill. Looks nasty. So far, nothing surprising. Just buildings. Is that something up there? That cross- That cross up there looks surprisingly colorful. Like something's ha like something's going on with it. What's the note say? Bless us with blood. Alright. You- you enjoy that, dude. I'm gonna switch back to my pebble mode. So this whole place is kinda trashed. I'm gonna avoid going in there in case I can't get back up. I don't wanna get stuck and fall down or something. Check by this tree. That's a dead end, but there's a- I might be able to knock on this door? Over here? No, I cannot. No lantern outside means there's probably no one inside. So we're just gonna continue forward in this area. Some sort of new monster? Uh, not new monster, but a monster here. Is it the same guy again? I just fought? That's alive, right? Yeah, it's one of these guys. The weapon looks different. Is he not noticing me yet? Can I go for a backstab? Might be able to go for a backstab. That's not a backstab. Shit. I used the wrong attack animation. Ooh, that thing's got range. All right, let's be careful about that. Ow. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful at being careful. Let's just back off. Oh! Don't... Don't screw me, wheelchair. That's what you get for getting in my way, wheelchair. You get trashed by this asshole. Go for the attack! Finish him. There we go. Finished him. So that's a big str That's a big long attack you can easily go in after. Blood vials? Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing I'm already back in the groove of not using my gun, unfortunately. It's just, they, they throw these big scary enemies at you, and then it's like, oh cool, a big slow wind-up, I'll use my gun. Oh wow, five. They really want to make sure that you have all the blood sh shards you ever needed. So you, so then I use the gun, I'm like, oh yeah, clearly this is the time to counter, look at this big obvious attack. Then I fire the gun and nothing happens, and I'm like, oh. Okay. And then I immediately switch off gun in my head and stop thinking about it. Something about it, it's not entirely, it's mechanics aren't entirely clear to me, like I understand the basics of like, you were you were post their attack, and then they enter an animation, and then you counterattack them. Like that'll, that all that stuff's obvious. And with smaller enemies, it's useful just for stunning them in general. But I do have bad luck with trying to time it correctly, and you could seriously die just trying to experiment with the timing 
of getting one guy's repost down, as opposed to just hitting people. Unfortunately, viewers, uh, let's just, let's break everything. Lulz. Viewers have a nasty temp tendency to, uh, watch these videos, and then just assume, because I'm not constantly using the gun, that it's because I don't understand that it exists or, or, or what it's for. It's like, no, I've understood the gun mechanics since before this game came out. It's like the first thing any of us knew about this game. It's just, you have to, n knowing that it exists and how, and how it works versus having practice and skill with it, uh, different things. So here's a dead end. What's my reward for coming up here? A gemstone, okay. Door work? Oh, door does work. No, it doesn't. Door's closed. Door cannot be used. No illusionary wall. This is just a dead end. What? Let's see. Rolling is effective. It's the scourge of rolling. What is the scourge of rolling? Oh, I wonder if they lock... I don't know, but maybe, maybe they lock the door if you break all the pots outside? And maybe if you come in here without breaking anything, the door's still open? I don't know. I might come back and test that someday. Or I might be just com I might just be making shit up. Uh, it might just be a locked door in general. It also might be that I just, uh, as I progress, I might just open that door from the other side, and it's just a shortcut that I need to access from elsewhere. Either way, we're probably just gonna, we're just gonna have to go up the slope again now, since this whole area seems to be a dead end at this point. So we'll see what's upstairs now that we've tried the getting sounds. Oh, it's from these things probably. These these big burning urns that are ho hanging down. Gotta keep an eye out, because a lot of the monsters we've been seeing lately, between the werewolves and the old Yarnum and the monsters that just started fighting, they look suspiciously like a lot of these statues. So I have to be careful that these statues don't wake up on me or something. Or, or that I don't misinterpret something as being a statue. This is closed. Do I have to go close the gate behind me? Remember key. A special emblem of the main gate. Oh! This must be what I spent those 10,000 uh, blood echoes on, was opening this gate. Maybe. Or maybe I just found it somewhere. It's not always entirely clear which thing opens what, so this thing would open it from this side. But of course I'd have to get there. So where are we? There's an item down here, so I'll go check it out. Watch out for any surprise monsters. Oh, cool. Raft, that's a, a nice thick cold blood, which is the, the five quality one. Another one of those little guys here. Oh, there's a few of them. There's a few of these guys hanging out around here. Hey, buddy. Nope. Oh, God. Okay. Can't stun him out of doing the fire attack. And he dodged. That was a pretty good dodge. By all accounts, him slightly scrolling to the left shouldn't have dodged the attack, but apparently it did. Look at all them quicksilver bullets. All right. That guy's just kind of ignoring me. Doesn't care that I just killed his buddy. Ooh! Surprise. Surprise crow and more thick blood awesome So I can go down there and see what that guy's up to or I can see what's going on in the central courtyard uh, This looks ominous We'll check the side path first Hoping that it's actually a side path and not just another path got a lot of got a lot of potential forks to keep track of in my head Hey friend How's it going? Just gonna dodge it. Yeah Check out that hitbox right there. My ducking made him miss. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna have to take that blood back from you real quick. I hope you don't mind. How dare you? Trying to damage me. I'll show you damage. I'll show you who's damaged around here. Uh, where are we here? Ooh, item. Poison knives? Alright. Those could be handy against something. But where are we going? Oh, this looks like it's gonna go for a while. Okay. Care Ooh. Someone lives there. And bad sounds are coming from down there. Which... We'll check the window here that's that's lit up. Now that we, now that we know that these mean people are lived there, there's a window and a door. Okay. Check the lanterns. Oh my, what a queer scent. But I take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. What is it then? I'm off during hunt, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. <laughs> Sounds like a prostitute lives here. Do they, say, do they start the whole thing over? Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? 
Might you know the safe place? The night is long and a very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Uh, how do you know where to send people? Ah, uh, I guess we'll just gamble and send people to both. Hey, how do you know? Oh well, we'll, we'll try the other one now. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> I don't know, will I have access to the inside of the clinic? Is that how it works? We'll see. So I can send people to multiple locations. And I don't really know which way is the better position. So I'm just gonna experiment and see what happens. First playthrough and all that.